Microphone check. One, two, one, two. Turn my mic up. Don't worry. We can fix that right now. Hi, I'm Ted Cornegay, and I'm here with Right Pick TV. Most memorable career moment. I would say my uh, Great Cup championship that I won in 2011. We went from 0-5 to winning a Great Cup championship, which is Super Bowl if you're an NFL fan. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a crazy, surreal moment. Pre-game ritual. Man, so many of them out there. I'm not a superstitious guy, but I always have a uh, good selection of music that I use. It's always Sam Cooke, Change Is Gonna Come, the first song. Second song has to be Phil Collins, In The Air, in the air Tonight. After that, we just get ratchet. Anything ratchet. Gotta get ready to hit somebody. I would probably say Michael Jordan probably was my favorite athlete of all time. I didn't realize that until the day I met Michael Jordan and I was already a pro athlete myself and I still got those butterfly jitters when I met Michael Jordan. So that's how I found out Michael Jordan was my favorite athlete of all time. After retiring playing football, pro, pro football, uh, I still train guys getting ready for the NFL combine. I train pro athletes as well in their off seasons. So I'm pretty involved in sports, well, in football in general. Uh, you know, I follow it very well. Watching sports now, like today's, the, 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 the new rookies that are in all these different leagues, it's just, it's a different, it's a different feel. Like it's, uh, they might take it the wrong way. I just feel like they're, they're more nurtured too, because maybe because of the, the new rules and it just makes the, makes the game look kind of soft these days, to be honest. I mean, I'm pretty sure every, every veteran athlete will say the same. I mean, but you know, I respect them. They're, they're the most athletic human beings I've ever seen on earth, but they just, they get a lot of, a lot of uh, slack taken off. As far as last season, um, I would say nobody probably thought that the Patriots would win a Super Bowl, but would they go to the Super Bowl? Absolutely. I mean, given the fact that uh, Tom Brady didn't start off the season till, till later, it definitely uh, threw a loophole in the season for the Patriots, but they had a good backup and he, uh, he fought strong till it was time, time, time Brady to get back on that field. And, once he got back on the field, he was Tom Brady and he did exactly what he always do, is take the pass to the Super Bowl and win it. For next year's season, I mean, as far as uh, what do I, what would I like to see, I, I would absolutely like to see Tom Brady not win the Super Bowl, Tom Brady not be in the Super Bowl, somebody step up to the plate and be competitive, you know, an organization to be competitive on the, on the AFC side uh, and get them out of here, you know, and just, just see good, good all around football, I mean, it's nothing like seeing the top players healthy until week one, till week 18, and just make things happen and see some good competitive football. Well, for me, when it's time to pick who's gonna win the game and who's gonna lose it, I always look at whose defense is the healthiest, um, who has the, uh, the better leaders on the team as far as veterans that are actually taking, taking guys week to week and winning games through their leadership, and also, um, you know, who has the, uh, the uh, premier players as far as uh, like top-notch guys in the skill positions that have the, have the, uh, have the capability of taking guys for four quarters and winning games. So, yeah, it's all about veterans, leadership, and who has a stronger defense.